Today I'm going to show you how to make three plant-based, high-protein meal prep breakfasts. So for the first one, we have got these mini tofu quiches. I've got protein granola, and here the most simple one is a dragon fruit chia pudding. The first recipe is the protein quiches, which 12 quiches, one of them will be 85 calories and have nine grams of protein. So I like to have a couple of these in the morning before the gym or after the gym. To make the quiches, slice one zucchini very finely. Next, you're gonna add 800 grams of firm tofu to a food processor, along with three quarters of a cup of nutritional yeast, mushroom seasoning, black salt and normal salt, some arrowroot powder, and then of course I like to do this in parts, so I do half and half so that it mixes really well in the food processor. A really important thing to note is that you really need the Kala Lamac, which is an Asian ingredient, which is the black salt. So this is what gives it that eggy flavour. So really, I wouldn't recommend doing this recipe without the black salt. The mixture is ready once it starts to look like a hummus. Now we're going to cook the zucchini and the kale with some mixed herbs with some oil in a pot. So in this part, you really need to cook the vegetables really well. So you want to get all of the moisture out of the veggies as much as you can. If you're using spinach, it will wilt a lot faster than kale. Once the veggies are fully wilted down, add in the tofu mixture and mix it really well until well combined. Now we're going to add the tofu mixture to a silicon muffin tray. If you don't have a silicon muffin tray, I suggest that you use paper cups so that they're easy to get out. Make sure you push the mixture firmly down as well so it's densely packed. And now we're going to bake them at 100 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for the Americans for about 25 minutes. Let them cool and enjoy them straight away or you can have them throughout the week as your meal prep. Delicious. Now I'm going to show you how to make a four ingredient protein granola. This is the perfect easy breakfast to keep in your cupboard. I have this on repeat all the time. First you're going to mix together in a bowl some peanut butter and some maple syrup. To weigh the peanut butter, it's easy to just use it on a scale, knowing that 250 grams equals one cup. Mix these together until they are really runny. If it's not runny enough, you can add some coconut oil to help. In a bowl, add the rolled oats and the protein powder. And mix together before adding the wet ingredients. The maple syrup and peanut butter mixture is too thick here, so I add some coconut oil to make it more runny, which makes it easier to evenly spread throughout the mixture. You want to use a really large bowl for this, one larger than mine, because this was really hard for me to do without spilling over the edges. Spread the the mixture evenly over a baking paper lined tray before placing in the oven and baking at 180 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure to take the granola out at 10 minutes and evenly toss it around so that it's baked evenly through. I like to serve it in the mornings with some yogurt and some fresh fruit. I'll link below some of my favorite yogurt recipes as well. And now we're going to make the last recipe, which is the easiest one of all, which is this dragon fruit chia pudding. First, cut up a fresh dragon fruit into small pieces like this. Put some aside that will be used on top throughout the week. Now add some dragon fruit and one cup of yogurt to a blender and blend smooth. You can also add some maple syrup at this step if you prefer it sweeter or if the dragon fruit you're using Using isn't that sweet. Pour into a jar and add three tablespoons of chia seeds and mix really well until combined. I like to use yogurt here over milk because by using yogurt, the chia seeds don't fall to the bottom and get all chunky like they do when you use milk. Also, this works with so many fruits. You could use strawberries or blueberries just as an example instead of dragon fruit. Now you're gonna refrigerate this for at least one hour. This also works overnight, which makes it a good night before recipe to make. Right before serving, you wanna top it with some dragon fruit and then once you've done that, it's ready to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment below.